for one whole week, I'm only gonna be eating what I can catch. Only the fish we can catch. Will I survive? Will I be emaciated after a week? Or am I gonna be eating good? We're gonna be using a, a lot of different tactics. Got the net, got the rods, and we're gonna be doing a, lots, of, lots of different types of fishing. Hopefully we can catch some different kinds of fish to eat. Now a couple of rules I'm gonna say. Uh, the first rule is I'm only gonna save a fish for up to one day. And after that, I'll have to catch a different fish. So you can't just store all, catch a bunch of fish one day and store them for the whole week. Wish me luck. begins day number one of surviving on only what I can catch. We're doing something a little bit different, something I usually don't do. We're gonna be using the net for some live bait. So let's hope we can catch some bait off the bat because I need to eat tonight. We're gonna be looking for different kinds of sizes of mullet too. Some finger mullet to catch anything and then maybe some bigger mullet too. Just to chunk out there, see what happens. All right, there's our water. I'm gonna start with just a little bit of water first. In case we have to transfer the bucket somewhere, it's not too heavy. All right, let's start the hunt for the bait. Don't, I don't really know. We could catch, there's a lot of stuff we could catch here, especially on live bait. Could be redfish, trout, of course, mangrove snapper, maybe even a flounder. Flounder would be really nice. <laughs> All right, go ahead and tell me in the comments. Do you think I'm gonna survive the week like a king, or am I gonna be dying by the end? What do you think? first day is very important so we're gonna see I finally saw a school splash up let's go get them right here all right there's a start right there a few fish for bait so all you need is a start and then it's gonna start steamrolling from there suckers up and then we can start fishing so the plan with fishing this spot is to get as close to the rocks as possible without getting cut off by the rocks. Because that's where the fish are. They're going to be near the rocks. So let's see if we can do that. What we're going with here is just a simple Carolina rig with a little sliding weight. And then something interesting we're doing is using a treble hook instead of a single hook. We're just going to try it out, see how it goes. There we go. That's a good, good sizing right there. Boom. That's going to be a good bait. That's a pretty good cast right there. Throwing into the current so it sticks a little bit better. I'm just gonna lob this one over there. Good thing we had the cast net ready. Set it up perfectly so I could hey, grab it in two seconds. Let's see where they are. Right there, let's cut them off. Oh yeah, we're gonna catch a lot. We did miss a little bit still. Somehow, man, I'm missing them every time. We still got a lot though. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! There's some mullet for you. Yo, what the heck? What the heck happened to you? My God, dude, you got savage. Did we just get a bite? Something eating it? Yep, something's eating it. There's a guy. Oh my gosh. We got two rods going. There's a guy though. Oh, we lost it. Dang it. Oh, we got something, dude. This, what does it feel like? There, no, don't be a lady. Oh, it's a trout. Yes, trout. Keeper too, boys. That's a good one. We're eating, boys. Yes. Dude, he bit it. I didn't know he got it. Nice, dude. We got food, man. We got food. He's thick too. Nice. I, didn't, I wasn't sure he's was going to stay on. Let's get the measuring stick just so we stay in accordance with the law. Yep, that's a nice uh, 16 right there eating size. Well, the treble hook worked out. <sighs> nice speckly boy. Get that guy on the stringer. We ain't starving tonight. We ain't starving tonight. We got a speckler and that's good eating too. There we go, man. And just like that, we're on the board. We got a nice fish to eat, but we need more than one. So let's re-rig, get a new bait on there. So we are going to make it at least 24 hours with one fish. We need two. At least. All 
right, there we go. Two rods out and ready to catch some more fish. Oh, insta bite, dude. Insta bite. Insta bite. Stay on there. I don't even have to cut the darn video, man. It's not a keeper, I don't think. Or is it? Oh, he's a skinny guy. Let's get this guy back. He pulled it like a bigger fish. Damn, there's a guy. There's that guy. He's off the hook. That's all you need to do, dude. Fish right next to the rocks, especially with live bait, man. You can't help but catch fish. This is a cutter guy. He freaking almost pulled my rod into the water. Oh, it's a big trout. Yes, that's what we needed, man. Big trout. Nice. That's an eater right there, dude. Shoot. That's a big guy. This is exactly what I wanted. Try and land him properly. I think he could throw the treble hook pretty easy. Whoa. Boat flip, boat flip, boat flip, boat flip. Oh, yeah, dude. That's a nice freaking trout right there. Look at that guy. Let's see. 19 and a half. 19 and a half, baby. That's going on the stringer for sure. Dude, live bait is too good. Now we just need to start thinking how we're going to cook these bad boys. Y'all thought I was going to starve, didn't you? Not today, my friends. There's a nice 19 and a half inch right there. That is going on the stringer. Real quick. Nice. Two on the stringer. Just like that. Live bait, man. Live bait is cheating. It's cheating. Hey, and just like that, dude. Two fish. That's good eating right there. I think I'll take one more, one more fish at the max, and then we're we're good. We're good on fish. Now we need to start thinking where we're gonna fish tomorrow. Oh, there's a fish on, dude. There's a fish on the whole time. It's a flounder. Oh, that's what I wanted the whole time. It's a freaking flounder. No wonder. That's a keeper too. Oh no, is it? It might be a little bit short. Let's measure it. Yes! Flounder boy. Nah, oh, that's a keeper for sure, huh? Flat boy, flat boy. Nah, that might not make it. No, that'll make it, dude. 16. Boom, 16 right there. That's what I'm talking about. Dang, he does not want to open up his mouth, huh? And I sure ain't sticking my finger in there. For the flounder, and there he is, dude. That's the fish, exact fish, flat boy. Exact fish we wanted. Let's put it on the stringer. Dude, I'm so pumped. Freaking floundered. Today, man, the first day could not have gone better. Exactly the fish I wanted, a flounder, and we got him first day. It's gonna be a good week, I think. Gonna be a good week. All right, we are all loaded up in the car. Got the ice chest right there. Got all the rods in there, and we're about to go to the store. And let me tell you, one of the most awkward things about going somewhere straight after you're fishing, it's that, that right there. Fish slime, fish slime on your shorts. It's not a good look, but we need to go get a fillet knife. Well, here we are at the mart. We're gonna get a fillet knife for the fish, obviously. And then we also might get a little cooler that could be good for us to keep fish. Maybe some ice too, you know, ice is good for keeping fish tasty, right? Ice, ice for tasty fish? Walking around all this food is making, making me think, you know, I, I want to get something good to eat tonight, but I forget. We have to eat fish. Fish is good too, but not as good as Twinkies. I don't even like Twinkies. I don't even like no Twinkies. All right, somehow we survived another trip through Walmart. Let's show you what I came out with. We got this ice chest that we needed right here. It's not a Yeti, but trust me, it should still work. And we got our little dip net. Everything we needed right there at Walmart. We forgot ice. It's okay, we can get it tomorrow though. <laughs> All right, let's cut these babies up while we still have a little bit of light left. I got this new little thing, it goes right on the bucket. Seems pretty dope, neat little invention. Should make fish cutting a little bit easier. And as always, I'm not very good at filleting fish, but we're gonna get better this week. Boom. Fish number one. Fillets are done and let me tell you, 
I'm rusty, especially with the flounder. That guy took me way too long. Trout didn't take too long, but the flounder. All right, and you know, it's a special day, day one of this little challenge. So you know, the seasoning we have to use, my man, Cayenne, coming in. Let's cook these fish up in the oven. Looking good, dude. Dude, who's ready to eat? I'm ready to eat because I haven't eaten in about all day. So, this is, should be good, man. Should be good. Is that man, is that man really going to eat straight off the tray? Yes, he is because he is a savage. All right, dude. Day one went as well as I could have freaking hoped for. Freaking flounder, dude. One of the tastiest fish in the sea along with the speckled trout. But tomorrow, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. We're gonna be catching some different stuff. So stay tuned for that. But let's see how this thing tastes, man. Flounder is so good. A little bit of cayenne. Usually wouldn't go with cayenne for flounder. All right, man, this is gonna be an exciting week, though. We're gonna do all kinds of fishing. Hopefully catch all kinds of fish and maybe eat a few of them, too, to survive. Or maybe we won't catch nothing, and I'm gonna be a lot thinner. Speaking of thinner, we should weigh ourselves right now, day one, and see if it changes by day seven. All right, that was some daggone tasty fish, but let's check our day one weight. Dang, 189, almost exactly 190. Let's see what we'll be by the end of the week. But for now, that's day one in the books, man. We're coming back for day two tomorrow. <laughs> See ya. Well, morning of day two, and this might be where things go sideways. I don't have very much time to fish today, uh, so it might be a struggle to get food. And dude, I've been wanting to cheat. Let me show you something here. Oh, look at this stuff we got in here. It's no good. It making me want to cheat. Freaking Pop Tarts, dude. Cliff Bars. Pasta. But I haven't cheated yet, and I'm not going to, folks. I'm not going to cheat. All right, I know it's going to seem like these segments are right in a row, but it is actually already 2.33, and I have not eaten yet. We need to go catch some fish, because I need to feast. I must feast. I had to go to, I actually had to go to class, and do some stuff at school, and we also picked up this bad boy. Look at this rod right there. Thick. That's a thick rod. Let's see, what is it? Up to two ounces on the bait casting rod. I think we're gonna use this at the jetties and hopefully catch some freaking beasts on it. And in about two hours, I got more stuff to do, so this is the only time I can fish. I got the stuff ready. Let's go out to the fishing spot. Oh, okay, man, we literally have like 15 minutes to fish. <laughs> so we're gonna be trying to get one single fish. That's all I want. It's gonna be rough though. You better believe we're bringing back the diamond back rig with the cheddar weight. Looks like dirty water too, so perfect conditions for it. Since we don't have much time, you gotta go with the trusty lure, the proven gulp swimming mullet. Golly, this ain't safe. Water's up high, man. Come on, man, be a fish out here. Oh, there's, there's a guy. Is it a guy? This might be. Oh my God, what did we catch, dude? We caught a croaker. <laughs> croaker, that's what I'm talking about. I said, give me a fish, but I didn't want a dang croaker. That's bait though. That's killer bait right there, dude. Killer freaking bait. I'm not gonna eat that though, not yet. Not that desperate yet. We'll see later in the week though. <laughs> Man, we're a failure. We failed. Day two, day two is when we die. It's all right, man. You don't, you don't need to eat every day, right? It's just a myth. All right, dude, that's all the time I have. We failed. We're gonna have to catch something late in the night, maybe. I don't know, dude, because we have stuff to do right now. <sighs> and I'm out of time. Let's get out of here. All right, let me show you what's going on. Or let me show you what's not going on because the cooler, 
completely empty. Day two, no fish. We're not eating for day two. And here's where we start wondering if this was a good idea after all. Uh, but what I think is gonna happen, I'm gonna break this up into multiple videos. So this is gonna be the end of video one. Don't worry, I didn't eat anything other than the fish I had yesterday. One full day so far without food. Still feeling good. Oh yeah, and I think I might go fishing with uh, Texas Redfish Hunter tomorrow. <laughs> so maybe we won't catch fish, cause you know that guy, he's like a fish repellent. And uh, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, yeah, we'll see ya, see ya, see ya.